the grocery store. You know, you know how we do. Today, the only thing I'm planning on working with Sarah beyond crowd control, which I don't know if she's going to be able to really because she has her short leash. So I don't know that that's gonna really be even a possibility, but I'm gonna see if it is. I don't really like to drop her leash for her to do stuff. I keep a carabiner on both ends and it's only 30 inches. So technically I can hook this to the back of her vest if I'm like, I really want her to try something out. Um, but this is mainly so that I can hook it to the grocery cart if I have to, you know, like whenever I'm checking out or whatever. I really just want her to work on her blocks, maybe some crowd control. I don't really plan to make her do tasks today because there's kind of no reason for her to do it every single time we go. So I'll film some for you guys probably in there. Hopefully the crowd control part will work out well. I think it should. And she's barefoot by the way. I think I already told you guys that. I don't know. But I'm letting her work barefoot again because I just think she's so much more attentive that way and it's just better for us. It's not hot either. It's like in the 60s. So she should be fine to walk around, you know, on the, the asphalt.
crowd control twice. I had to clip her leash to her vest, which you guys will see. And I just kind of feel like awkward doing that. So anyway, I just let her do it twice, like on the same aisle, like I said. She did good. She was a little bit resistant. That's the first time she's done it at all in public. So that was great. She did her blocks every time. Like I said, that was the only thing I was really wanting to work with her on was just blocks today and just manners um, in general, which she's pretty good manner wise. But you know, obviously that's a, that's gonna be a never ending thing. We always work on manners. Time to put the groceries away. Thank you. 